and then break it down the other cards, starting with Cash Money J. What can you tell us about the other two cards he has running alongside the big three? Absolutely. So he's got the bright. And those are the starting lineups, so kick back and get your popcorn ready. We'll... Thanks for joining us in honoring Martin Luther King Day. Allie, it's all... Well, Brian, the NBA's trying... That makes sense, Allie. Thanks. And the starting lineup for the Nets. And for Golden State. Here in the middle part of the season, Grant, what are the biggest challenges for players? Well, B.A., it's mental, physical, and emotional fatigue. Night in and night out, you have to stay focused. With the amount of games teams play, all those back-to-backs traveling across the country, bringing it every time out can be difficult. Here's Gervin. Six on the shot clock. The layup off target. Here's Iverson. And he drives in. He's off on the layup. Here's Gervin. And he slams it in one-handed. The B.A., when he gets the rim in his sights, it's tough to stop. So aggressive and a determined finisher. Nice. Anthony misses. And it's Brooklyn Ball. Pass to Caldwell. And down it goes. Jam that one home. This can make it so much easier for your teammate when you throw that lead pass that gets to him right on the money, whether that's on the run or in the shooting pocket. Here's Iverson. It's intercepted. He's got a clear path. Jumps up. And he caps off the break with a monster slam. Did you see that? I mean, going right to the rim. That's how you finish in the open floor. Yeah, anything other than a layup in that situation, probably disappointing. Had numbers, took advantage. Back to O'Neal. Oh, and he got Next fouled foul. on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. First personal foul. And the front First office for Brooklyn foul. has said they need selfless players who want to be there and are available. Your well, VA, the message is pretty clear. After Kyrie Irving missed most of last year due to personal choices, the Nets want all hands on deck this go around. Gets the three to fall. He's got five. Their ball movement on this run has been tremendous. It's led to a lot of good, clean, open looks. And here comes the break. Here's Kervin. And again, Brooklyn with the triple. This has been just a dreadful start for them defensively. Not good at all. Here's Iverson. Checking his numbers. He's put up a little over nine points a game. That shot is good by O'Neal. What a critical bucket. This game could have gotten out of hand early if they allowed that run to go much longer. Here in the first, just under two and a half minutes played so far. Pass to Caldwell. Shot clock at five. And he's going for the oop here. Chamberlain gets the bucket. And they're really working the paint now. And the Warriors call time here. And Grant, you played on the Suns team whose training staff was renowned. Is that still a differentiator between teams, or has everybody caught up and on the same level now? You know, B.A., I think everyone's caught up. You know, 15 years ago, the Suns training staff was ahead of their time. But now teams are all much more sophisticated. They understand injury prevention, rest, recovery, really aiding the players, and I think adding years for players on the back end of their careers. To the inside. That one goes. Now he's one for two. The defensive effort was lacking a bit, but hey, give him credit for finding a weakness there. Just really smart basketball and exploiting whatever holes that he's seeing right now in the defensive squad. Here's Gervin. He has seven, and it's good for two. <laughs> this run has been fueled by their Matador defense. Fantastic replay we just saw of the mobile one drive. You're toasting the defense and getting in close. They'll take possessions like that one all day. Count it. Pounding it inside early and often, setting a physical tone. The Nets with the lead. Pass to Caldwell. 
Out to the right wing. First quarter of action, just under three and a half minutes played. Here's Chamberlain, and he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. Everyone in the building saw the obvious contact. All right, guys, what do you think so far about the offensive approach for the Nets? Well, it's all fast break points. Those easy buckets, they are so hard to come by in the NBA. So if you get a chance to run, you have to take advantage of it. Sometimes the offense can be keyed by just quick possession. So you get a steal and you can get out in transition. You seem to be very focused on that end of the floor. They've shown so much energy right from the start, particularly on the offensive end. Yeah, if you walked in at any point during this game to watch five minutes of play, one team played hard. You know who that was. Here's Harper after the basket by Brooklyn. Pass to Robinson. And the foul is called. He missed it. So he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. I like that. I mean, some physical play inside. He's not about to give up any easy baskets. Wayne Robinson at the line. Both shots good from the strike. Well, when he gets into a groove at the free throw line, it doesn't just last for tonight. This might be two weeks, two months, something like that. Here's Ginobili. Nice start for him. Sinking his first shot. <laughs> Their offense looking like a well-oiled machine. Here's Harper. There's the drive. Pass to Robinson. The three is up. Rebounded by Gervin. Brooklyn's gone two of two at the perimeter. Here's Kidd. And the layup is good off the glass. They've controlled the paint so far. That's been the difference. Yeah, the bully ball tonight has paid dividends. Highly effective down there with the physical play. I'm not going to see that very often. The defense in the vicinity, but still, he's not one to blow layups. Inside, here's Chamberlain. And the shot goes down. Five points in the game. They just look so overwhelmed inside. You know, that's why they continue to get attacked. Pass to Sabonis. The rebound by the Nets. 50 seconds left to play in the first. Here's Ginobili. He's in his comfort zone. Two for two to start this one. Man, that's now 10 straight points in the paint. I'm not sure what's happened to their defense. And just a lack of fight right now on the defensive end. Right? At least on that slam it was. That's one way to let a team back in the game. You have to credit the aggressiveness offensively because that's when you make a play when you really need it. And the Warriors with possession here. The Nets making their last shot. Pass to Sabonis. No good on the shot. Hard to convert against that kind of defensive pressure. Those are all the little things about effort there. He just gets out there and contests. And that's just enough. Glenn Robinson. First personal foul. Second team foul. First one falls for him. At the line for the Nets. Elton Brand. Two shots. Both good from the line that time. 16 seconds left to play in the first. Pass to Sabonis. Off the window. It's good. There's just no reason to give him inside position. Yeah, when he's this close to the basket, it's it's a wrap. Doesn't go for him. And after just one quarter of play, a double-digit differential on the scoreboard. It's the Nets up by 16. Quarter number two coming up right after this break. Don't go anywhere. And thanks for staying with us, folks, for our MLK Day broadcast of NBA action. And guys, the Nets pretty much in control here. Well, there's no reason to take risky shots when you can collect points at the rim. Yeah, that worked wonders for them in the quarter. We'll see what kind of adjustments get made. It's his second foul, but not the end of the world. One more before halftime, though. That would change some things. And for the Nets, pass to Caldwell. Shoots from 12. Chamberlain. Tip back in for two. He's got seven. Their defense just falls apart once the ball goes inside. And for Golden State. With the drive. 
Wow! Always fun to see point guards who can elevate above the rim like that. Oh, a strong mindset and even stronger finish. Well, just seeking out weaknesses in the defense and then exploiting it. Pass to Brandon. Nance outside. Here's Chamberlain. He's guarded by Sabonis. Chamberlain gets the bucket. And the Nets lead by 18. Their interior D continues to look shaky. Not a good matchup for them right now. Deflected! Here's Brandon. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. The kick out to Nance. Pass to Coleman. Just five on the clock. The Nets need to get off a shot here. Ooh, he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. Well, Grant, every team is looking for that perfect five on the floor. That magical lineup. In your mind, is that synonymous with small ball? I think it is, B.A. I mean, having players that can play small, can switch on defense, obviously play multiple positions on the offensive end. And just a combination, when executed properly, could be a nightmare for the opponent. And that replay showed how sensational that drive truly was. Yeah, down big, you gotta find a way to generate easy offense. Getting into the paint is step one. Pass to Coleman. Here's Gervin. Floats one. It's hauled in by Robinson. The Warriors have got two of three shots to go in the second. All right, for those just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second. Sabonis can't hit. Nice rebound. Trying to match the other team's intensity right now. Here's Kidd. Off the mark there with a three. Here's Iverson. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. It's on Larry Nance. Well, that was clearly a foul. That one misses, so he goes one for two. Brooklyn in total control. Down low. Here's Caldwell. Oh, his shooting remains on point. Three for four thus far. That's been the story of their offense so far. Getting a number of looks from point blank range. Iverson. It's deflected. And that's out of bounds. It was last touch by Nets. And the Warriors making a switch here. Harper's checked in. Here's Anthony. And he can't get that one. Nice D from Nance. Here's Caldwell. Oh, a rim rattling two-handed jam. <laughs> so sick, the vertical ability. That was flat out awesome. He has that effortless knack for getting to the hoop. The Nets have gone four for seven in the second quarter. From the wing, the shot no good. And it's the Warriors taking it the other way. And after this one, they're at home against Sacramento. It's game three of a trifecta at home. That's the time where coaches are telling you wrap up the offensive player. Hard to do with Carmelo Anthony so strong when going to the rim. Brooklyn in total control. And almost four minutes gone in the second quarter of play. Yep, count it. And just executing at a high level. I mean, taking what the defense allows and putting in the work. Basketball IQ is something that gets talked about, but it's important to a team showing up here, running plays that turn into scores. Golden State calls timeout. They're giving up a lot of points in the paint. That's something they have to address here. Yeah, coach knows that. They know that. In the timeout, they're going to hear about it, make the adjustment. Here's O'Neal. And a missed layup. They really have a commanding lead, not just in points, but in rebounds as well. Here's Ginobili. Second chance effort, and he sinks the layup. Ginobili. He's got six. And guys, the way this defense is getting manhandled down low, you have to wonder if they're at 100% right now. Here's Iverson. The rebound by Coleman. Things are going south right now. This is not the type of shooting that his teammates expect from him. A 
minute 35 left to play in the second quarter. Ginobili gets the bucket. Ginobili. Well, years of experience come into play, not only here, but overseas. Ginobili with perfect rhythm on the catch and shoot. And the shot's good. Yeah, here's a list of things I don't want to do, and right at the top is guard that guy. Pass to Ginobili. Softly drops Mom, in the floater. They're finding ways to get the ball into the paint. Five consecutive buckets. Here's Gilmore. Three-pointer, Anthony. Nice. Gets his second bucket. He's two for four now. This story in the second quarter, much different than the one in the first. We're finally seeing some aggression. Pass to Ginobili. Here's Brand. Tried to come right back with a three of his own, but it's no good. Yeah, and they've taken their foot off the gas a little. They were much more aggressive to start the game and really getting their opponent in early foul trouble. Brooklyn has gone one for three from downtown here in the second. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. It's stolen. In transition, here come the Warriors. Second shot opportunity, and he takes it up and lays it in. That's a testament to the effort there on the boards. Never willing to give up on the possession, finding ways to sniff out the ball. Here's Ginobili. Off target with the three. O'Neal inside. That misses. Would have counted had it gone. And so it's the Brooklyn Nets out in front by 19 going into the break. And their defense has stood out, wreaking havoc for the opposition. All right, we'll get back to the action after this break. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello, it's Brooklyn out in front of the half. They are dominating the scoring, leading by 19. And that does it for our... Ladies and gentlemen, your Warriors, you And welcome back to our NBA coverage on this very special MLK Day. And for the Warriors, they're shooting about 41%. And so in the game for the Nets. It's a three-on-three -three fast break. Oh, there's the alley. Derek and I think that play tells you everything you need to know. Jason they're Kidd. simply playing at a higher level getting a steal and turning it into quick points. Outstanding dribble drive. And that replay was brought to you by Mobile One. And this is exactly what you love to see. Up big, not letting up, keep on applying pressure to their defense. Here's Anthony. Pass to O'Neal. Brooklyn with the board. The biggest lead of the game was 24 points. Fires from the line. Nice work on the boards, paying off with the basket. He's pouring it on at a nice clip, and the rest of the team is stepping up as well. Here's Iverson. He has six. Going inside. Oh, a great one-two punch. A beautiful pass and a nasty jam. Woo! <laughs> B.A., that's lit. Ferocious all the way. Man, that was good. Here's Coleman. He's got five. Pass to Gervin. 17-foot shot on the way. That one falls. Eight of ten and scoring with confidence. He means business. Unlikely to be a comeback on his watch. Well, he's grabbed a tee and a blanket because he's putting this one to bed. There's a whistle. That goes on Carmelo Anthony. That's his first foul of the game. And that's how you defend. He wasn't showing any mercy with that swat. Yeah, good offense comes from great defense. This lead is only getting stronger with plays like that. Brooklyn has gotten three of their seven threes to find the net in this matchup. And we're about a minute and a half in the second half. Kid with the bucket. Jason On Kidd. fire to start three the second points. half. Four or five from the field. Oh, they get a hand on it. Oh, 
Driving to the basket. And it's good. Two points. He has seven. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. Now a timeout called by Golden State. Yeah, you can't make any excuses right now for them giving the ball up as much as they have in this one. Hopefully they can get on the same page during this timeout. Two minutes into the second half of play now. Here's Iverson. He's got six. To the middle. Looking to end the run. He got a piece of it. They retain possession. He's off on that one. And right now, they're plus eight in the rebounding category. That's helping them run away with this. And that was just moving the ball quickly. And he's rewarded at the end with a high percentage look. Yeah, the defense trying to do their best to slow him down. But when he gets room like that, you got to look out. And I'm sure this isn't how they drew it up at the half. Only one for five here in the third quarter. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. Well, guys, Commissioner Silver's open to change. He said, quote, we're not beholden to pure tradition. We care a lot about it, but all the factors I think about when we talk about changing the rules, I'm less concerned about that. We should live in the present, be respectful of those records, but also be willing to adjust when it makes sense. EA? All right, thanks, Allie. Second Man, the defender really went after him. He's off on the first. The line for the Warriors. How great! And the second free throw is good. Brooklyn's gone four of nine so far from the perimeter. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. <laughs> no debate there. He, he got hammered. Shooting for Brooklyn. Good on both. The Warriors have gotten just one of five shots to drop since halftime. Takes it inside. And it's in there. Yeah, so reliable. He clearly needs to be more involved in the offense as they try to shrink this lead. Pass to Caldwell. To the paint. Here's Chamberlain. Good setup. Well, Led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. 13 points in the game. The Warriors have got just two of six in the second half. Here's Anthony. That one is off. And their physical dominance has been on display. A 10 rebound advantage is a good indicator of how this game has gone. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. <laughs> They're not messing around. Five of their last six buckets have come from the interior. Melo's getting inside, maybe even under the skin right now of the defense. At the line. First free throw is good. So the Nets making a switch here. Anthony. At the line. And Anthony drops them both. Here's Brooklyn. They're on a 19 to 7 run. Pass to Kidd. Floats one up, and it's rejected. And he's able to get it back. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. Anthony, left side. Misses the layup. For Brooklyn, they've gone 8 of 13 in the second half. And he lobs it up to the rim. The finish. 
and Anthony slams it in. Anthony's still running the floor well, even at this stage in his career. Gets out and coasts right past the D. Pass to Chamberlain. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. Man, he made sure to get his money's worth on that foul. Shooting for Brooklyn. And a moment to check out the scoring breakdown for the Nets. Yeah, what stood out to me was their passing. They moved the ball effortlessly and have been able to find those holes in the defense. Well, if we add another thing to it, it's about the urgency they've played with. I mean, you look at the eyes of these guys. They're focused, wanting to get up tempo, and that's helped them score on the fast break. Here's Brandon following the score by Golden State. To the right side, here's Ginobili. And it's off from three-point range. The Warriors have gotten only four of ten shots to fall so far in the third. Greer, no good. And he gets a lot of points right there at the rim, but the defense determined not to give up the easy deuce there. And that one drops. And trust me, when the D's slow to react, he'll be the first guy to make them pay. Well, I know they don't have mobile devices out there for texting, so they might as well talk to one another. Greer, no good. Brooklyn's gone one of four here in the third from range. Here's Ginobili. It's good. And he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. O'Neal, he's checked in for Sabonis. Nance, he's checked in for Brooklyn. And really strong at the line since the break. The Warriors shooting just about 33% since this second half started. Six seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Here's Harper. It's tipped. And that's out of bounds. Golden State will retain possession. There's 21 seconds left in the third quarter. Maybe there are ways to contribute that don't involve shooting the basketball. That's the best way that maybe he can help them out trying to win this game. Here's Brandon. The three. They get it again. Chamberlain. Second chance shot. Ooh, he released it in time, but it's off the mark. And as we conclude the third, pretty much a blowout here. It's been a one-sided affair. It's the Nets just dominating this one. And we're coming back in just a moment. Get ready for the fourth quarter when we return. And it's time now to bring you our State Farm assist to the game. And from the two-guard spot, an unselfish play like this sets a fantastic tone. Even though the position is called shooting guard, passing part of your responsibilities in today's game. And again, happy Martin Luther King Day as we return to the court here on 2K Sports. Here's Nance. No luck on that one. So Golden State will take it the other way. And then for the Brooklyn Nets, here's Greer. And he banks in the layup. Oh, the plan working to perfection there if that was their plan. And if it wasn't, maybe that should be their plan. And we just had to take one more look at that great drive. Yeah, he has that fight in him. Love the aggression at the rim when they are trying to claw back into the game. Here's Ginobili. The teardrop. And the game is growing by leaps and bounds globally. How does the league continue to ride that wave? Well, I'll tell you, B.A., it's not hurting that you have an MVP that comes from Europe. I mean, Nikola Jokic bringing a lot of tension back to the league with his dominant play over um, here. But Commissioner Silver continues to explore all the corners in which he can continue to introduce the game, introduce the entertainment, and introduce the community aspect of what being a partner with the NBA is all about. Pass to Nance. Here's Brandon. Here's Sprewell. He's guarded by Anthony. Four on the clock. From ten feet away. Got a hand on it. First minute and a half of basketball played here in the fourth. Here's Iverson. Can't cash it in from close range. For Brooklyn, they've got none of their shots to go in this final quarter. 0 for 4. Pass to Nance. And again, it's the Nets missing. Well, he's a guy they count on to produce from the mid-range. He 
doesn't miss too many open looks from him. And he's not the reason that they're trailing in this one. He's been on his game. It's a few of the other guys that need to pick it up. Here's Brandon. Moving along. Two minutes gone in the fourth. Here's Nance. Pass to Peterson. Puts up a three. Counted from distance. Peterson. Now you have to extend that defense. I mean, you really have to stay connected to him at all times. I'm not sure what the defense collectively was thinking there. you got to know where he is at all times. With two hands on the rock, he powers it through. Totally in control. Protecting the ball the whole way. Here's Sprewell. We saw one major rule change in the NBA last year. When a shooter intentionally initiates contact with a defender, it's a no call. You like it? Yeah, I do like that. I mean, there should be no reason for a, a shooter to be the one with a defender on him, to be the one putting his body on the line. That's the defender's job. So the rule makes a lot of sense, PA. Brooklyn with the ball. After the Warriors picking up a basket just a moment ago. Here's Brandon. Iverson with a rebound. Perfect timing to rise up and challenge the shot inside. Yeah, not easy to do there. And that's a guy that you can tell takes every possession defensively very seriously. Spreewell gets the bucket. Really as good as any passing big that we have in the NBA. Horford is a guy who can run an offense as a big. They get it back. Pass to Iverson. Here's Gilmore. Right wing. Here's Anthony. Misses the jumper. Brooklyn's gone two of three from beyond the arc here in the fourth. Nance outside. Here's Peterson. He's guarded by Anthony. Nance outside. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. The Warriors have got four of eight shots to drop here in this final quarter. Here's Iverson. Ooh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. First team foul. At the line for the Warriors, Allen Iverson. Two shots. And he makes the first. And Brent, one issue that's come up. Star players unavailable for various reasons. But some tension there with teams. Where are we headed with this, you think? I think one of the things, P.A., that's going to be of interest in the next couple years is how much this rest, recovery, and load management is actually impacting the player's performance. And there's been a lot of data out there, and it's a lot of predictive data about whether or not a player should play. And the league is really digging in to see whether or not this is actually affecting the players or if they should be playing more minutes and I don't know if it comes down to something financial but it usually does and you can see how scary this team can be when everything is clicking for them just a terrific performance for the Nets one area where they set themselves apart today their aggressiveness in getting steals it really hindered their opponent all game long and of course it helped spark their own offense and so this win marks their first victory of the new year Here's Sprewell, following the score State by Golden foul. State. It's just a bad foul. First Gotta be smarter foul. than this. First team foul. Substitution for your Warriors. Bailey Howell. Norm Nixon. Pass to Brand. Back to Williams. Here's Sprewell. Here's Maggetti. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. First personal foul. Man, eh, good whistle there. Then he drops a first. At the line for the Dubs. Corey Maggetti. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Here's Williams. 44 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Pass to Sprewell. Driving in. And it's flushed down. A nice jam. 
And they came in here with some attitude, and they brought out their best play. Yeah, it looks like a veteran team tonight getting out on the road, playing with assertiveness, confidence, fully in control for this win. And even from where we're sitting, you can clearly tell it was a foul. And so he hits both. And here is Williams. Six seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Pass to Horford. Here's Sprewell. Clock at six. Golden State foul. Bailey Howell. Second personal foul. Second team foul. The free throw drops for Williams. Jason Williams taking two and Williams drops them both and the Warriors with possession here here's Nixon Horford with some nice D so we see the Nets taking the W here boy this crowd has to be shocked by the way their team was dismantled a shock and surprise. It doesn't matter what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to just waltz in and cruise to the type of victory like we saw tonight. And that about wraps it up for Brent Berry, Allie LaForce, and Grant Hill. This is Brian Anderson thanking you for tuning in. We'll see you.